Number 5 on my list is going to be going to the Clutch and the Snakebite case for two different reasons. If we're talking about cheaper rare cases, these are going to be your two cheapest options. Now talking about the Snakebite case, it's going to be very significantly lacking in one big area. It's not the unboxing numbers because those are coming in extremely strong, it's actually going to be the supply. The Snakebite supply is absolutely massive. Although it's the number one most unboxed rare case, it's also the number one most supplied and that creates a very big problem if you're looking for a great investment right now. Longer term it's going to be exactly okay, but if you're looking for something in the shorter term that's going to be having potentially some profit potential behind it, the Clutch case is definitely going to be it in my personal opinion. If we're talking about the clutch case, the unboxing numbers are extremely strong as well, usually coming in at the top three. That's a very strong potential behind it, but the biggest thing is we want to look at the supply. It's significantly less than the snake bite case, therefore it's offering up significantly more potential, especially in the more recent times here. The clutch case has a very strong potential if we see a lot of FOMO come into it. It's got a very large potential behind it. I think the clutch case is probably going to be the better option if you're looking for mid to shorter term. Skin Swap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with a free bonus for signing up with the first link in the description. They're they're the premier place for CSGO and Rust skins, with a massive trading site and a top-of-the-line marketplace, offering you the most competitive rates out there and a massive 40% bonus when you're using that link in the description. Combine that with their top-of-the-line selling feature with many payout options and their trading feature legitimately taking you just about a minute and there's no reason not to sign up with that first link in the description. Now talking about active duty cases, we can go ahead and exclude the Kilowatt and the Dreams of Nightmares from investment potential. They're just way too expensive to have any opportunity inside of this area. The Revolution case is also a little bit too expensive, leaving us with just the recoil and the fracture case. Now, a lot of people have been looking at the fracture case as the next case to go ahead and get removed, and it's very possible that that could be the actual option we see, but there's a couple problems that go along with that. First up, the fracture case has a massive supply. The truth is, the fracture case supply is nearly equivalent to the snake bite case supply. Absolutely massive, and it's going to take forever for it to go ahead and decrease. Combine that with the fact that the recoil case is probably not going to be necessarily not removed. Looking at the unboxing numbers, we can see that the recoil case is currently the most lacking case inside of unboxing numbers. It's not necessarily the only indicator, but it's definitely something that Valve has used in the past to make their decision about which case gets removed. Number four on my list has to go to the revolver case. Now when we're talking about cases that are going to be the most stable, the revolver is going to be the biggest one on side of this list. If we're talking about the revolver case, it's one of the fastest to recover from any dip, and when we're talking about the fundamentals the revolver has, it's extremely strong. Unboxing numbers, the revolver case is very solid, putting up consistent numbers every month. When we're talking about supply, it's extremely low for the revolver case. Although this is just an estimate, it gives you an idea of how many many potentially revolver cases are out there, or at least the rate it's decreasing. The revolver case is in a very strong position compared to some of its competitors inside of the area. It's the cheapest option if you're looking to unbox those OG knives, and when we're talking about the revolver case, it's nearly a staple of the game at this point. Although it came in as an absolute meme, it's completely dominated the unboxing field for the past, and I don't think anything about that is going to change in the near future. I think the revolver case is one of the greatest options if you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit more stable and a little bit more expensive. Talking about discontinued cases, these are going to be one of your greatest options if you're looking for something that's going to be on the much safer side, but offering up a little bit less of a profit. We're talking about Shattered Web, Riptide, and Broken Fang. These are going to be your big three staples in the area. Now we're talking about discontinued cases. I really like them, but the problem is the price point. If we want to be completely honest, we're looking at a price point of three, four, five, six dollars. These are not going to be having the profit potential that you're going to be getting at a 75 cent case or a 25 cent case, depending on how long you're looking to hold. Number three on my list, or the best case that's a little bit more expensive, is going to be the Spectrum 2 case. Now the Spectrum 2 case actually didn't even make the list in the past video, but it's completely come out of nowhere in its dominant force over the past week or so. That's because if we want to look at the unboxing numbers, it is currently one of the most unboxed rare cases out there, especially at this more expensive price point. Absolutely insane the domination we've seen in the short term from the Spectrum 2 case, and when we want to look at the Spectrum 2 case, it's no question why. This case is absolutely phenomenal in the things it has inside of it. When we want to talk about the competition in the Spectrum 1 case, it's not even a question because the Spectrum 1 case is unboxed significantly less and it's significantly more expensive, creating that differentiation between the 1 and 2 of the case, which is something we don't see with the gammas, which is why we don't suggest the gammas. Spectrum 2, absolutely perfect inside of this area. It's a perfect picture of what we want to see for a case that has a little bit of a distinguishment from its previous case, but it's also got a very strong potential in the future. In the past week, we saw more of these opened up than the Danger Zone case, and almost as much as the Prisma 1 and Prisma 2, I think it's in a very prime position for the near future. The current second best case has got to go to the Danger Zone case. Now, the Danger Zone case is extremely strong in a lot of different areas. If we want to talk about the unboxing numbers, it's usually one of the top three coming in in a very strong potential, but but right now it's actually at number four and it's slipping a little bit, which is why it's finding itself at number two instead of number one. We're talking about the Danger Zone case. There's a lot of things to love. The unboxing numbers are great. The supply on it is relatively decent. And we're talking about the competition of the Horizon case. It's really not too relevant coming in with a little bit more of an expensive price point, which is beneficial for the Danger Zone case because it doesn't seem too competitive inside of that area. Now, although the Danger Zone case is coming in at number two inside of its list, I actually probably wouldn't be making too much of an investment into it right now. I think the Danger 
Ranger's own case, long term is in a very solid position, but when we're talking about short term, it hasn't done anything crazy. I would say overall, it's a very solid pickup, but there'd probably be one or two cases I would have my eyes on a little bit more that we're going to talk about in a quick minute. Talking about the best mid-tier cases that just didn't make the list, the first one's going to be the Chroma 3 case. Now, talking about the Chroma 3 case, it's one of my favorite cases out there. It's such strong in everything that we look for fundamental-wise. There's a couple reasons why it didn't make the list. First up, if you want to look at the price point, it's now starting to push $2.70. A little bit too expensive for me to throw it personally on a cheaper case list like this where we're looking for strong ROI. Second of which, it's already started to go up in price a little bit, which is really good if you're an investor into it. But if you want to look at the cases in this video, you can see that they're starting an upward trajectory. Chroma 3 case is already on that upwards trajectory. So I didn't want to throw it in there a little bit too late, especially at that more expensive price point. It's still a very strong case long term, in my personal opinion, just a little bit more expensive. Continuing on with one of my favorite cases as well, the Wildfire case. Now this case has been such an up and down, it's absolutely insane. But we're talking about the Wildfire case, it's extremely stable because of a couple different things about it. First up, it's a little bit lower in the unboxing demand, but that's also because it had a lower supply. It's not discontinued by any means, and it's still a rare drop, but it's a relatively decent case if you want to get into it. A couple reasons why it didn't make the list as well, it's a very similar price point to the Chroma 3 and a little bit more expensive at $2.50. Plus, when we want to talk everything about the Wildfire case, the Bowie knife turns away just too many people for it to be an absolutely amazing investment, but I still really like this case as well. Lastly then, talking about the Gammas, we mentioned them earlier. The Gammas aren't terrible investments, so the biggest problem is the fact that you can't distinguish the Gamma 1 from the Gamma 2 case, and that creates a big problem because we're looking for the best investments inside of this video. I really like the Gamma cases overall. They've got a very strong unboxing demand behind them. The knives inside of them are great, and overall, people do enjoy these cases. The biggest problem is the fact that the Gamma 1 and the Gamma 2 are always going to move together in tandem, which eliminates a lot of the opportunities we'd be looking for inside of this area as a strong investment potential. Now, the number one case I think you should be investing into right now is going to be the Prisma 1 or the Prisma 2. Now, these cases are on absolute fire when we want to talk about unboxing numbers. They are completely dominating the danger zone case when we're talking about this specific area, but they blow the rest of the cases out of the water and all the other aspects as well. Talking about price, they're one of the cheapest cases out there. The Prisma 1 is legitimately one of the cheapest rare cases you can get right now, and it's got a very strong demand behind it. It's actually catching up to the Prisma 2 and how much it's being unboxed inside of this area. Prisma 2, very strong as well. It's one that we have consistently talked about being a very strong case for pulling in a lot of different people to go ahead and unbox it. Now, one big aspect about a case is the supply. When we're talking about the Prisma 1 and the Prisma 2, the supply is actually very reasonable for what we would expect inside this area. The truth is, it's probably going to be in a better position moving forward because we keep on seeing stronger and stronger unboxing numbers inside of this area. The supply is absolutely perfect for these cases. It's not too high, it's not too low. It's any perfect middle ground for you to make a strong investment into it. If you want to look at these cases in the past, they have done extremely well, and that's something that I would really expect to see moving forward. These cases have been completely strong. They have been completely dominant inside of their respective areas, and there's no reason why this would not continue for the near future, especially with how dominant they have been. That's all I got. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.